So do you know any uh, impersonations or anything like that? Yeah, I could do a pretty good impersonation of Paul Walker. All right, let's see it. Ah! Ah! All right, so the scene is you're a white guy, you walk into a convenience store, you notice that there's nothing but black people, and they're all giving you dirty looks. Okay. <clears throat> All right, the scene is you're an Australian surfer with two of your mates. You get lost at sea and see that you're being approached by a shark. All right, now. I think that the waves are going to be pretty good today, huh? I remember I went out with Jimbo last week, seen two, two whales on the beach, if you know what I mean. One of them looked like Roger's mom, huh? But, um, yeah, so let's go see if we can't catch some of these waves. Now, at this point, I would be paddling out to catch said waves. Oh, man, we've got a, big, got a big one coming right now. Let's go ahead and try it there, Johnny. This is me if I'm paddling. I don't know, I've never paddled a surfboard. Paddle. I'm paddling right now, I'm going out, I'm going out. I just hit a big wave and I'm fucking surfing the great blue waters of off the coast of Australia, New Zealand area, depending on where exactly you're at. And uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, where am I? Where are my mates at? Johnny, Roger. Oh man. Can't even see the shore. I'm lost out here. Oh my fucking Christ. Looks like Jaws over there. No, wait, that's not good. <laughs> okay, so this scene, you're a plumber and you're in a confessional and you're just confessing some things that you've done recently that's not so great. Okay. Um, you can uh, feel free to improvise. All right, let me uh, get on my, my game face here. So. It's the same face. What? Father, please forgive me for I have sinned. Lately, things have not been going so well at work. Um, I'm a plumber and I seem to always be getting into different types of situations that I know I shouldn't, um, but I just, I can't help myself, and I, I think I would feel a lot better if I could at least confess them to you. Like, as an example, the other day, I was at this job, and the customer was being an asshole to me, and uh, I, when he walked away from me, because he was up my ass the entire time, and when he walked away from me, I took the back off of the toilet, and I took a shit in the toilet in the top of it so it was resting up in the in the bowl where the water is and uh, then that way when he flushed it later instead of filling with clean water it would just fill with my shit you know because you know he made me mad and I had laughed about it for maybe like 30 minutes and then he called my boss and I got fired I've been to like five different plumbing companies in the last four months um, and as another example the other day I was at this house and I was bent over underneath the sink trying to fix some of the pipes and this lady, she came up and she grabbed my ass and we kind of laughed about it, you know, and I went and I banged her on her bed right next to all these pictures of, you know, her child who is a midget and doesn't know no way. <laughs> no, I don't know what the fuck that's got to do with anything. <laughs> the other day when I was working, this lady, she kind of felt, felt up on my private areas you know, and I, I got an erection, and it just felt so good. I feel horrible about it. It just it felt amazing. And I, I, whenever I think back on it, like, I really wish it didn't happen. Like, I wish I didn't take that 75-year-old woman to the bedroom, and I wish I didn't bend her over, and I, I wish that I didn't bang the shit out of her, you know? I didn't want to do any of that, no matter how good it felt for those 45 minutes, and especially when I came all over her. Like, I wish I didn't do that. But there's nothing I could do about it now. And I just was hoping that through confession that you would be able to anoint me or I don't know how you say it, but just be able to make sure that I'm forgiven for all of these 
foul, disgusting, filthy things I've done. Um, also, the other day, um, I got like five blowjobs in one day, and four of them were for, from women. Uh, I was at my first house in the morning, and the lady was filling up on me, and she was like, hey, let me jam your big, huge dick in my mouth. You know, what am I going to say? Hey, no, don't do that. You know, what am I, a fag? No, right, 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 Father McKay? No, you're, you're right, I'm sorry. Um, but, I mean, I feel horrible about it. You know, I just, I gagged her down, and she threw up all over my pubes. It was disgusting. I really wish I could take it back, you know? I mean, it felt amazing. And then later that day, this other woman, she blew me like three times throughout the course of my 45 minutes working there. It wasn't even there that long. It was amazing. But again, I mean, I wish that I could take it back. And uh, the last one was a dude, but he tricked me. It wasn't, I mean, you know what I'm saying? He just, I didn't know. I thought it was like a Greek woman, had a little bit of chin hair. Turns out it was a full-fledged dude. The fuck was that? Father McKay, you got your cell phone on?